Hello everyone, this is Kavya Anjali from Kavya's English class. I hope you all are fine. Today I have brought a new poem named Swift Things Are Beautiful written by Elizabeth Corset. She was an American writer of fiction and poetry for children and adults. And this poem she has written, this is a very small poem having two paragraphs only. And this poem, in this poem actually she is trying to tell us to appreciate the moments of beauty that happen every day in our lives. Okay, so let's recite the poem first, then explanation will be done. Swift things are beautiful. Swift things are beautiful, swallows and deer, and lightning that falls, bright wind and clear. Rivers and meteors, wind in the wheat, the strong withered hers, the runners your feet and slow things are beautiful the closing of day the pause of the wave that cups downward to spray the ember that crumbles the opening flower and the ox that moves on in the quiet of power so here swift things are beautiful what does it mean what does what is the meaning of swift swift here means Quick or fast moving things. Swift thing, things here means quick or fast moving things. It may be a glance, it may be a current or even a decision can be swift. Things that move or happen rapidly and smoothly are called swift. Okay, then we can say rapid or speedy. Speedy things or rapid, the things that happen fast. The things that happen very quickly, that is called swift. Swift things are beautiful. So, let's start the explanation. Swift things are beautiful, swallows and deer. Here, the poet is saying that in our life, so many things happen. So, within that, swift things are beautiful. The fast moving things, the quick things, okay, the rapid or the speedy things are beautiful. Swallows and deer. Swallows, it's a kind of bird, fast moving bird. Deer is also famous for its fast moving quality. So, swallow is a quick moving bird and deer is a quick running animal. They both are beautiful because of their speed. And lightning that falls, bright wind and clear. Here the poet is comparing or the poet is describing the lightning just like the wind. Okay, bright wind here means clear and saved like winds. Okay, here the poet is describing the lightning. Lightning children you know, lightning we can see in the sky just before the thunder. So here the poet is saying that the lightning that falls just like the bright wind, it looks like a wind which is bright and clear. So, here the poet wants the readers to analyze such things and feel the beauty of things in their lives. Rivers and meteors, wind in the wheat. So, here rivers, meteors, meteors, we can see the falling stars. Okay, all here the poet says the quickly flowing river and the bright falling rocks or falling stars from the sky are also beautiful but people don't see this beauty and they get scared of it okay then wind in the wheat so here it means when wind blows wind is invisible actually but we can see the effect of wind so when wind blows the wheat field it also offers a beautiful view. The strong withered hearts, the runners your feet. Here the strong withered hearts. Strong withered here means having strong shoulders. Okay, withers here means withers are the upper part of a horse back between its shoulders. Okay, and here the poet is saying that the strong withered hearts, the runners your feet. Both are the very fast moving things and they are beautiful because of their quickness, because of their rapid speed. Okay, let's move to the second paragraph. 
what is the opposite of swift what is the opposite of swift yes obviously slow so here the first paragraph the poet has described about the swift things but in the second paragraph she has described the beauty of slow things it's not about the fast moving things it's about the slow things also slow things are also beautiful the closing of day the pause of the wave that cups downward to spray so here the closing of the day here when does a close when does a day close in the evening when the sun sets in the west so the process of sunset is not fast moving thing it's a slow thing the process is very slow slowly slowly the sun sets in the west and that view is beautiful the closing of day that scenery that view is beautiful the slow things are beautiful out of the slow thing this one is one okay the closing of day means the sunset the process of sunset it's a slow moving thing and it's beautiful the pause of the wave that comes downward to spray here the poet has described the slow stopping of the waves in the see that means slow waves are also something beautiful to see the ember that crumbles the opening flower all these things are slow moving things okay the process is very slow ember here means glowing coal when a coal is burnt it glows okay the ember that crumbles and crumbles here means break or fall apart into small pieces or fragments that means whenever we burn a coal and in the the process of burning coals to becoming ashes okay that process is very slow and that process is beautiful too okay the ember that crumbles the zarni of the burning coal to becoming the ashes that means crumble here means break or fall apart into small fragments it become ashes the burning coal finally it becomes ashes okay that process is beautiful it's the slow thing slow moving thing and it is also beautiful to see the opening flower here the flower we the process of becoming a flower a bird becomes a flower that process is also very slow and that process is very beautiful the wh whenever a flower blooms it looks very beautiful okay and the opening of the the opening flowers that means the process the the way uh, the way a bird becomes a flower that is very beautiful and the ox that moves on in the quite of power here in the quite of power means slowly and noiselessly but powerfully the movement of ox the movement of ox is very slow and it looks very beautiful because it moves slowly and noiselessly but powerfully so this is all about the poem first paragraph describes though the though the heading is swift things are beautiful but the poet has described both the things the swift things are beautiful and the slow things are also beautiful so in this poem the poet says that everything is beautiful in its own way so we should look around us and admire the beauty we should enjoy the beauty of everything okay the poet is trying to tell us that we should enjoy everything that comes in our life we should notice each and everything whether it may be a slow thing it may be a fast moving thing but everything beauty lies in everything and we should enjoy the beauty of everything okay so this is all about the poem that's all thank you all of you have a nice day bye bye